Welcome to episode 3 of the Sudini VEX series. Let's talk about attributes and variables. Both of them contain data of a specific type and hold a value. A variable holds a value inside a VEX wrangle and can only be used in its own wrangle. An attribute is a value that is stored on your geometry and can be used downstream from there. Let's jump into Houdini and see how we write them. First we need to create an attribute wrangle, since that is the place where we write our VEX code. On this note, we also can decide whether we want to run it over the points, prims, detail. But for now, let's run it over the detail. In the text field, we type our first variable of the type integer. int count equals 5. Now the wrangle itself knows the code word count holds the integer value of 5. Let's create another one in loop equals 5. We can now add a third variable where we add count and loop together and print the result to our console. In sum equals count plus loop. See that we do not specify the integer for our count and loop variable again, since Houdini remembers their type, it's only necessary when creating them. Now let's print it. Print f e to r sum. e to r converts our int into a string in order to print it. The right result is now stored in our new variable, and we can go on from there. The same works with for floats, strings, etc. Let's say we want to add an attribute to our mesh. It's helpful to open the geometry spreadsheet for that and see what kind of attributes we store on our points. Right now, we only have the position on our points stored. Let's create a new float attribute. f at p scale equals 1. Now we added an attribute to our points storing the p scale. We can also add e at count equals 1 or v at v equals 1 to 3 or s at test equals test. A rule of thumb is to create as few attributes as you need on your geometry. It can be heavy if you have a lot of points. Calculate within variables first and then publish it via one attribute and make sure it's named correctly. In Houdini there are some keywords when it comes to attributes, which Houdini recognizes and knows what to do with it, without you telling it. Example would be p-scale, scale, orient, color, position, normal, velocity. Make sure you use those when needed. You can see the full list of keywords in the side effects docs under attributes. 